Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Chasing Rabbits. My name is Scott Brown, and you have found my vlog dedicated to helping you become the leader you always wished that you had worked for. Have you ever watched one of those horror movies or an adventure movie or one of those action movies when all of a sudden something goes wrong? And you have the character that turns to the people that are with them and they say, don't panic. They make sure that the first thing they tell everybody when something goes wrong is, don't panic. What's the first thing that happens as soon as you tell somebody, don't panic? Of course, the first thing that happens is, everyone panics. It's kind of human nature that when we're told not to panic, the first thing we think about is not panicking. And we panic because we panic when we're not supposed to be panicking. And it makes the situation even worse. I think it's one reason why when you look at every horror movie, they make horrible decisions. And they end up doing things that no sane person would do, which is why they always end up getting killed. Because they're told, don't panic. And it shrinks their focus, it shrinks their ideas, and all of a sudden they do the one thing they're not supposed to do, and they panic. Well, fortunately, most of our lives and our businesses and our opportunities aren't the same as an action movie or a horror movie, but yet we still have those moments in our life when you're moving along nice and smoothly, and then wham, something happens, and all of a sudden, you look at the situation and the first thing on your mind is don't panic because now everything's been disrupted and you want to make sure you have a rational thought, you have a rational plan for what to do next. But yet in your mind, you're thinking, I can't panic. So what do you do? You panic. Life is always going to throw curveballs at us. We're always going to be challenged with different obstacles that we never saw coming. How we react to those obstacles determines how effective and often how far our journey goes. How effectively we manage those obstacles says a lot about how, who we are as a leader. So what's the first thing you do when everything turns sideways? When all of a sudden the unexpected happens and you have to react? What's the first thing you do? Hopefully it's not say, don't panic. Because if you panic... You're bound to fail. If you focus not on the reaction, but you focus on the plan. So you know where you're trying to go and look at whatever the, this disruption is as just a speed bump, as just an obstacle to be overcome, an opportunity to do something better than what you could have done before. All of a sudden you don't focus so much on the panicking portion of what went wrong, but rather on the solution of how to make sure things go right. Panicking does nothing. All it is is a constriction of thought. It does nothing to help us solve a problem. It does everything to exacerbate that problem. But when you have a clear head, when you focus on the solution, all of a sudden, the problem becomes a lot smaller than what you probably originally thought it was. I have this happen on a regular basis. As you're going down a path, as you're, as you're coaching somebody, as you're setting up a contest, as you're working towards whatever goal it is, things always come up. How you deal with those says a lot about who you are as a leader. So who are you as a leader? Are you the first one to turn to those folks that are following you and tell them, don't panic, only to have them panic? Or are you the one that looks at them and says, I have a plan, let's just do this. And if you're the second type of leader, there's a reason why they're following you. If you're the first type of leader, there's a good chance the reason they're following you is because they know they don't have to outrun the bear, they just have to outrun you, and they know that you are now expendable. So when something comes up, don't panic, don't struggle, look at the plan, execute the plan, and you'll find that others follow you much longer and with much more veracity because they know that you're gonna take care of them even when the plan fails. 
So until tomorrow, I wish you well. Have a wonderful night tonight. Um, toast on, my friends. Be well, be safe. And I will see you tomorrow for another edition of Chasing Rabbits. And by all means, don't panic. Good night, everyone.